Good morning. Here we are, 1881MF on the Life Buzzing Channel. And it looks like we have banana peppers right here, ready to be picked. So, I think we're going to do pickled banana peppers. What you think, buddy? Did I wake you, Newbert? Hmm? Yep, here we go. So now we're just going to cut rings. And you should be wearing rubber gloves right now because those suckers are bad news and they'll burn your hands. But little Debbie like does you. not wear rubber gloves. So I like to live on the edge. You are an edge liver. That is for Ooh, sure. Oh, I didn't put a bowl in there for this. Okay. We'll put it there for now. One. <laughs> Okay, again, the blue book of preserving according to our recipe. We are going to combine six cups of white vinegar, 5% acid. And I always use a bigger saucepan than needed. Two cups of water. And then the recipe calls for. Uh, garlic cloves but I don't have garlic cloves so I'm gonna put four big old tablespoons of this in there Let's see if I can do this without getting caught making a mess one and then we're gonna bring it up to a boil and let it simmer for five minutes and that's our brine for our banana peppers. Of course, we went ahead and put our seals in warm water to keep them warm. And we boiled our jars. And now they're just sitting in hot water, staying at temperature. Are those your spectators? They are. It's my little crowd. They're all watching you. My crowd of crowns. <laughs> Almost done. I added some peppercorns of mine just because it would be fun. So it's boiling. I'm going to turn that down and let it simmer for five minutes and then we're going to start stuffing our jars. Now we're just going to stuff the jars and we're going to push them in there a little bit and get them good and tight, okay? We don't have any gloves, so I'm using a plastic bag. Because <laughs> you will burn. It kind of works. Even with these banana peppers, it will burn. You can make it work out. I oh, know, we don't want to be touching that. And for extra crispiness, we are going to use pickle crisp again. Where's that? There you go. We're going to put an eighth of a teaspoon in each one of these. It just helps the crunch factor. Now we'll add our brine. Leave a quarter to half an inch of head space in each one. Oh my gosh, you poured out of that huge pan. Ouch. <laughs> oh. You want me to move it? Kind of full. You're doing a good job. Okay, now we're going to wipe the rims off of each one of these. Now we're going to add our seals that have been soaking in hot water again. And then we're going to put our 
rings on. Hand tighten them pretty good on there. Now we're going to gently set these in our boiling water bath. Oh, my fingers aren't burning. <laughs> and we're going to boil them for 10 minutes. Actually, this does burn through these, just for the record. It's not that. Oh, how'd that feel? <laughs> and what have you got there? Now we're going to set the timer for 10. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go ahead and pull these out carefully. And let them sit without messing with them until they seal. You'll hear them pop. Beautiful. And there you go. Yummy. Fresh banana peppers, pickled banana peppers. Picked them just hours ago. These will last for a couple years, really, but not in our house, they won't. So, grow a garden, grow some peppers, pickle some peppers. Subscribe to the Life Buzzing channel if you want to follow us the rest of the summer. Gives us a, give me a thumbs up if you like Little Debbie. <laughs>